What is up, YouTube? Spider Grandpa coming at you with another uh, contest. Um, this time it's for the Service Tech. Um, if you're not familiar with his channel, um, he's got some great stuff. I, I love his channel, love his content. So, um, here's a little kind of Halloween ish uh, contest going on right now. Um, Halloween based questions. Um, it's my favorite holiday. Of the year, so I'm really excited to do this contest. Let me take take a sip of some Kool Aid here. All right, guys. So the service tech, he wants to know your favorite Halloween candy. Man, my favorite Halloween candy would have to be. Bottle caps. I've been addicted to bottle caps since I was young. Man, I, I just, especially the root beer ones. If they could just make root beer bottle caps, I'd be, I'd be stoked. I'd be happy as shit. Um, but yeah, so that, I love Reese cups too. Man, I'm fat. I love all the candy. Um, I do not like candy corn. That shit makes me sick. Um. And those, you guys know those, uh, like, they're like little peanut butter balls. They come in the um, orange. Do they still make those? Orange and black wrappers. Those things are nasty, too. But uh, favorite is uh, bottle caps. Um, next question. Um, he wants to know, uh, on Halloween night, do, we, do I go out? Or stay home, do I go trick or treating? Man, <clears throat> uh, 90% of the time I'm at work. Um, I'm a manager at a grocery store, and for some reason on Halloween night, um, I'm all, for, always stuck at work nine times out of ten. So I don't do anything for Halloween. If I am home, in the past, I love to give out candy and love to see the little kids dressed up in all their costumes and um love the homemade costumes uh see what you know the, how creative their parents could get and i just i just love it um you know back when i was a kid halloween was uh there was a different it was a different time you know time period and i think so comics uh touch base on this um we could trick-or-treat all night long i grew up in chicago so um he's from chicago we we trick-or-treated till 10 11 o'clock at night now they got like here in virginia um i don't know how it is in the other states but like you could only trick-or-treat from like 6 to 8 p.m what kind of what kind of shit is that man um so yeah, so nine times out of ten, I'm at work. If I am home in the past, I would give out candy. But this year, I'm hoping to have it off so I can go with my grandson and get some candy for him. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, my favorite costume that I've ever worn, that's another question he has. I remember I was, it was the year the crow came out. And uh, Crow being one of obviously one of my favorite movies. Um, I w I was actually I forgot what yeah I think I was a junior. Um, we were actually allowed to dress up at work. Um, so what I did, <clears throat> I don't think my mom even knows about this. I went home. She had a long trench coat, just like the Crow War. Um, I took that out of her closet, and I went to my friend Tony's house, and he did my makeup like the Crow. I had, like, I think I had shoulder-length hair, not long as his, but um, I had shoulder-length long hair. So that, in my mind, was probably the best costume I could remember, um, me dressing up as the Crow uh, my junior year of high school. Um, now, I wish I had pictures of all these, but when I was a little, little kid, my mom used to 
hand make all all my costumes. I was a zombie before zo being zo a zombie was cool one year, and she had all this. I don't know if you, some of you might be too young to remember. They had these plastic rings, um, like they were spiders, and uh, they were just plastic rings, but they were spiders, and she had them all over my like tattered clothes. One year, um, she my mask was like a paper mache bowl, and it had paper. I was an alien, and it had like um paper towel rolls sticking out. And what she did was, you guys, some of you might be too young for this too. The light bright, you guys remember the pegs for the light bright? She put them all in, so that when the, it it was it was cool as shit. I I I just remember all my mom's. Uh, homemade costumes, um, she has all the pictures, maybe while I'm in, uh, uh, Chicago, I'm actually going on vacation in about a week, and, uh, driving to Chicago, so maybe I'll, uh, show you guys those pictures, but yeah, those are some of my favorite costumes in memory, now my favorite homemade Halloween food, this, this is a weird question, not weird, but, you know, kind of tough, um, the only thing I could think of is anytime we would carve a pumpkin, we would save the seeds and roast them in the oven, and that was always good, so that's my pick for favorite homemade food. And, uh, one costume you would want to wear. Um, shit. Let's think. I would want to hire a professional makeup artist, you know, someone who does, you know, the whole, like, for movies, and just go as a real, real badass zombie. Um, I had, I had, you know, I watch all these zombie movies and Walking Dead and every, I have an idea for, like, a female, um, zombie where a pregnant lady gets gets bit and she changes and the baby inside her changes into a zombie as well and chews her chews chews the way out of the stomach and is still attached to the umbilical cord and kind of, and she's walking I don't know that's that's some weird shit I I would love to do like say my wife I would love to have a professional makeup artist with all that elaborate, you know, the umbilical cord and the baby, the zombie baby, and uh, where he had chewed through the stomach, but Grandpa's sick in the head, I know. So yeah, this video is going on almost 10 minutes now, so let's go check out the service tech. He had some great questions um, in this contest. He's got some really great content, and of course I'll leave his link in the description below. And uh, y'all be kind to one another.